Disclaimer, the potential clips used in this video is being used under the Fair Use Act of Section 107. These clips are being used primarily for comedial effect. No monetary gain is being made from these. All rights are reserved and the clips belong to their original owners. Thank you and enjoy. Okay, so we want to move up, we want to stand here, and boom. Hey! Oh god, that's a bit high pitched, pardon. Ouch, that hurts. Okay, so that pendant in the top right hand corner, do not go for it. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Uh oh, my pendant. Do not go to it, talk to her instead. Oh no, don't tell me I've lost it, and just wait. Because eventually she'll go and get it, I'm sure she will. Oh no, don't tell me I've lost it. At least, I think. Or do you talk to her first, then go get it? Yeah, I think you talk to her first and then go get it. And then you go back to her. Oh, thank goodness, my pendant has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? Yes. I came to see the festival. You live in town, don't you? I feel like it's a lot of place here. Would you mind if I walk around with you? Sure. Yeah, you're a true gentleman. Okay. Oh, by the way, my name is, uh, Marl. Uh, Marl, and you're Deffy. Huh, what a nice name. Pleased to meet you, Nellie Dawn. Now, um, there's a lot of things you can do with her. Now, this that was the one of the most important triggers. Uh, just make sure you talk to her first before going to the pendant, but don't go to the pendant first and then give it to her. Make sure she's alright first, if you know what I mean. So, I'm trying to think what it is we go now. Um, just trying to think now. I do know we have to go to a cotton candy store. I do know, I do know that much. Um, where do we go now? Where do we go now? Where do we go now? Yeah, up here. So we talk to this guy. I hate fairs. Say, do you know the latest gossip? No. Just between us. I heard the king is distressed over his tomboy of a daughter. Just once. I'd like to see how well she really is. Okay. Uh, I don't know. What's the trigger? Damn it. I'm trying to figure it now. What is it? Um. I think it's the top? Can't remember. The kingdom's been through a lot, like the war is made us four thousand years ago. Four hundred, sorry. Thank goodness things so peaceful now. <laughs> this voice acting's not putting people off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah well. It's either that or reading the text yourself and what do you fancy, huh? Alright, do it. There's the green ambler. Okay, cool. Still don't know what to do. What's the big deal? So we won a war against a wizard hundreds of years ago. I don't know what to do. Do we go down? Yes, we do. This, don't touch it. Because that's another of the negative triggers. Okay. No oh, time to talk. I'm just sitting over my lunch. Okay, there's a cat there. Keep going if you want a demo Lucas robot battle trainer. Collect silver points if you win. Oh, that sounds good. Let's have a shot. Also, it's a good way to demonstrate battles as well. Alright, let's get started. The Comigato! I have metal joints. Beat me up and earn 15 silver points. Yeah, sure. Okay, so we have three... Okay, so I'm going to have to be kind of quick here because we have three different cursors. Actions, we have attack, technique, or item. But now, we, only, we don't have any text with Deffy, so let's just attack normally. And Marl doesn't have it anyway, so we're just going to hold down the A button and we're just going to let things happen. So yeah, for the most point, this is what um, battles are going to be at. Oh, oh yeah, so we gain 10 experience points, as I said, got one set point. So that helps us learn new techniques. I lost, you won. Here's 15 points. Now, nah, wasn't that fun? Whereas that's probably like, the best like 80s rapper voice I could put on. Run, 80s black guys! You're no match for the 90s black guys! <gasps> Alright, so we got some silver points, but no point. Like I said, I don't know what the trigger is to, uh, to move on. I really don't remember. I do know that you need to go to a cotton candy store, I think, or something. We have to talk to these guys. You're still staying up. When do you come back in a while? I'm sure, this is what you do. 
Wait, so I'm gonna be here for fucking ages, huh? We have 50 silver points. Want to exchange 50? Yeah, sure. Might as well. And again. I guess that's what you do then. You exchange it for money, I guess. Oh, we actually get some items here. Hmm. That's not too bad. Looks the device still set up. She's at the north end of the square. Oh, okay. I guess that means we can... Does that mean we can go now? I don't know. Oh, I guess so. Huh. I don't know how you trigger this then. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> scrap. Yeah, fuck you too. Hold your horses. I want to get some candy. Right, okay, so this is another important trigger. Keep your hands off the directional buttons because if you move, she will say, hey, where are you going? And that's another bad influential trigger to get your items. Hi, I like some of this. Surely, young lady. Thanks for waiting. There we go. Right, now we can go up. And I believe that's all you need to do to get the good thing, I think. Because I remember in my other file, I only did a couple of things. Which was, you know, the whole pen thing and the candy thing. So, maybe that's it. I don't know, we'll find out eventually. It's not that important, but you know. Anyway, <clears throat> step right on up. Any of you have the time and the courage? Now, super dimensional whoop is the invention of the century. To use it, jump up here. Ah, you get teleport and here is the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. Alright, so let's look around. Check out that girl's glasses, mm, dork. She could probably see the back side of the moon with those. Avengers never work right. Give it a try, kid. Oh, it was you, Daffy. Hey, Luca, what's going on? Daffy! Where have you been? No one wants to try that teleport. How about you? It looks like fun! I'll watch while you try it out. Good. Boys. Just hop onto the left pod. And then... Oh, okay. I was going to say hop onto the right. Be on the right, but whatever. All systems on! Beginning energy transfer. Oh, I know what voice to give to man. <laughs> oh, wow! That was great! All right, cool. I guess even her Avengers have to work sometimes. Check out that girl's glasses. Ah, uh, it's the same. Oh! Come on. It worked! I can't believe it! Uh, feeling display of science is best, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> You'll keep her that. <laughs> Tell the other bears what you just saw! So how was it? Want to try again? No, I'm good. Oh. What a kick! I want to try it too! Huh? Hey, Deffy, how did you pick up a cutie like her? Uh, Luca is a boy, but I'm trying to... Uh, sorry, Luca is a girl, but I'm trying to give her a different voice, you know? Hang on, Deffy. I'll be right there. We hope, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard this machine, <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be right back. You sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. No way. Roll the switch. Okay, everybody. Let's give her a great big hand when she reappears. All systems on. Beginning energy transfer. Uh, yeah, like, what could go wrong, eh? Oh. Sparkly. What's happening? My pendant, it's... Huh? Uh-oh. spaghetti -o. She's gone. Look up, where is she? Shows over, folks. Let's sing along now. Oh, Jesus, eh? Oh, she's gone. What's going on, Look up, where is she? Uh, 
the way she disappeared. Hmm. Could have been the teleport. Or feel seems to affect it by your pendant. What are we going to do though? She's so familiar. I know I've seen her somewhere. Well, anyone else could pick up the pendant, I guess. Daffy! You're actually going to do it? What if I would? Listen, I don't know what the machine is going to send you, but we haven't any other choice. They will both be lost. It's only hope. A pen and seize with the key, so hang on to it, Daffy, and brace yourself. All systems on. 6.1 gigawatts. In energy transfer. Level to the full. Roger. More. Give me more power. Roger. There, we did it. And away we go. I'll follow you after I know what went wrong. Go on, Daffy. Oh Christ, here we go. <laughs> Enter the Twilight Zone, eh? You know, I used to watch that years ago, Twilight Zone. I should really get back into watching it. Okay, where are we? Right, well, let's have a look. Let's have a look at what he looks like. Oh! Well, looks like we got monsters. It's like in a sour first official fight. Right then, put your jukes up. Let's get started. Nice crit. Okay. Four damage. Hmm. It's quite strong at this point, I will be honest with you. Okay, let's go. Okay, we haven't got it yet. I was going to go Cyclone, but we haven't unlocked it yet. Okay, nice. Okay, got six experience points and three tech points. Found 36 gold, and we have not learned our first tech yet. Right, I don't think we got. Yeah, we have a tonic. Okay, good. So that's a heal item. Okay, let's uh, push on in a second. Just want to check something. I'll be back in a second. Sorry, but I just want to see how long I've been recording for. Hmm, what's that then? Ooh, don't like the sound of that. Let's push up here. Cross the bridge. Oh, got another fight. Ah, oh, god, this is going to be a bit annoying. Alright, it's just two of them. I'll do it. Let's uh, second so slash again. So, um, the fights may seem very. Uh, yeah, we've got 4, 2, and 24, and I love a lot. Nice. And we learned Cyclone. Beautiful. Um, the fights might seem a bit straightforward now, but I will guarantee you there is a lot of little uh, gimmicks. With the fights in this game. So anyway, we get Cyclone. It's been cut nearby enemy, so this is our first AoE attack. And we get to learn Slash at 87 skill points needed. Okay, cool. Alright, let's have a look over here. Let's hope for another tonic. Because I won't mind a bit of healing at this point. Cool. So tonics heal um 50 HP, I believe it is. I also get a power glove. Christ, power glove, eh? <laughs> I love the power glove. It's so bad. This is an accessory and it increases our power by two. So let's get rid of the bandana. So, uh, power glove increased by two. The bandana increases speed by one. Now, I will be honest with you. Uh, Chrono. I'm just going to refer to it as Chrono. Definitely don't need to. It's just for. Um, uh, do you want to attack these guys? Sure. So we don't need to refer to him as. Um, just refer to him by his original name. Okay, let's give Cyclone a go. Um, Chrono is the fastest party member in the game. And the way his character development is, is pretty much set up to be like a, uh, I guess a jack of all trades between attack and support. Uh, just because of his fast ATB rate means that he can throw items at crucial times to heal party members. Um, eventually he will get a revival spell. God, what's happened here? It's all misty shit. It's all different. What's going on? Huh. Well, I better look around. Uh, residence? Okay. Uh, yeah, so Deffy is like a... Sorry, Chrono's like a mixture. So... 
I guess focus on accessories that increases his... I would say actually focus on accessories that increase his um, magic, I'd say. Because a lot of his um, spells and techniques are really good in terms of the magic side. The physical side, meh, it's not too bad, but... I don't know, you can pretty much set him up to be anything, really. We've been at war for years. When will it end? Hmm. The Millennium Fair? He? What are you talking about? It's the year 600. And the 21st King of Guardia reigns. 600? How? Fucking hell. How long ago... How, how many years have we went back? Um, yeah sure, we can go for a rest. That'll be 10 gold. Register? Sure. So yeah, we'll heal up, I guess. See if items for the more crucial times. Oh, there's another black box there. Hmm. Wonder when we'll open them up. Let's have a look. Where am I? Are you stupid? That's the Kingdom of Guardia. We're battling Magus's army. You did know that, right? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Better blend in with the locals. Then shut your pie hole. <laughs> Let me fair. What? You crazy? What nonsense? Okay. What a relief. We finally found Queen Lean wandering up in the mountains. Queen Lean? She must be glad to be home. Uh oh. I wonder if. We're talking about Molly. The Magus army destroyed Zenon Bridge, so the South Continent is excessive, inaccessible. Hmm. So, uh, let's talk to the barkeep. Uh, barkeep? I guess not. Are you a stranger too? I told my the explorer. If you're buying, I'll tell you a story. How about it? Yeah, sure. Cider, please. Thanks. It's about the missing queen. She disappeared while visiting that cathedral to the west end. Beg your pardon, what? They found her? Ah, huh. okay, never mind. I'm sure there was something fishy about the cathedral. Okay, hmm. We'll keep that in our notes. The cathedral, huh? Okay. Uh, residence. Let's have a look. I'm Banson, the blacksmith. I'm forging the bell for the king to present to his beloved Queen Lee. I lost it when the queen disappeared. I just couldn't keep working on the bell, but now it's bad to business as usual. Okay, cool. My husband wants a daughter who is intelligent and she is beautiful. Okay, cool. Imagine there'll be something in tow for them in the future. So look at the market. Uh, hi. You're gonna fight me, sorry. Wonderful, but remember, to equip yourself with the weapons you buy. Okay. No wonder sharpens. What do you want? Uh, okay, what can we get? We can get... Funny enough that we can actually buy equipment for, uh, Marla at this rate. Okay, so we've got an iron gun. Uh, iron blade, dart gun. Right, G, G, sorry. Um, I'm going to buy... Uh, yeah, do you know what? We're gonna get the karate, the karate gi and the bronze helm for Chrono because that's actually a pretty decent defense boost, actually. Thanks, see ya. I uh, don't need to get anything for Mar because we won't be using her for the next X amount of hours, I think. I think it's a good a good chunk of time, actually. Anyway, let's get these equipped. So, bronze helm and the karate gi. He, sorry. So that gives us a whopping 10 plus defense, so that will help. Rule of thumb when it comes to RPGs, always try and buy the equipment as soon as it's available. Even if you have to stop and grind. Alright, so we're 600 AD. We can go check out the cathedral. Or we can check out the castle to the north. Uh, yeah, let's check out the castle to the north. Guardian Forest. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, I'm trying to think now. I have to say treasure in this place. To the the left hand side, I think. I always seem to go in a anti-clockwise motion because you can get lost here very easily. Um, oh, there's a rustle on the bushes. What is it? The monster dropped a shelter. Alright, cool. Uh -huh. Alright, let's see if we can use Cyclone here. Cyclone's going to be your best friend for this early part. Just because you can kind of one-shot people with it. At this point, anyway. So... If you're on your own, don't be afraid to spam Cyclone. There we go. And see, that's what I mean by Kronos' um, high innate speed. It just it just allows him just to mop up enemies quite quickly. It's obscene. And also as a first responder as well, throwing items when need be, it's pretty cool. 
Uh, oh, stuff is shiny. What is it? Uh, power tab. Okay, so now these are cool. Um, within the game, there's three different tabs you can get. You can get power tab, magic tab, or speed tab. There are consumable items that increases said stats by one. Um, I'm not going to give... Uh, do I want to give the power tab to Chrono at this point, or do I want to save it for someone else? Um, actually, yeah, we'll just give it to Chrono now, actually. We'll let him give, they'll give him one more attack power, I guess. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, I think we did go in a full circle, I think. Uh-oh, enemies. Okay, let's, uh, let's just do normal attacks now. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit of a beating here, actually. Ow, 12? Was that a crit, then? It looked like a crit. So, I don't know the stats of every enemies that we're going to come across, to be honest with you. Basically, my rule of thumb is just keep attacking until it dies. <laughs> oh, so I know I lost then. Yeah. More enemies. Also, I'm not too sure whether to edit bikes out yet. Um, personally, I'm not a huge fan of that. Not from a um, an editing standpoint, but just from like watching playthroughs and stuff. Like when they used to um, when the uh, edit out fights, you know what I mean? I just uh, I just feel like it cuts from the game, you know. I don't know. I mean, let me know if you want some of the fights edited out. Maybe if it gets a little too repetitive, I'll think about it. Maybe because this is the first couple of parts, there's no point really. Okay, um, I believe there is something to the right hand side here, but we can't get past here because I think I might think oh no, I'm thinking of a timeline, never mind. Right, let's go north then. Okay, here we are in Guardian Castle, so let's go up this quick save. Like so and uh, leave it or carry on. Nah, I think I'll leave it. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the first session of Chrono Trigger. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite fun, actually. It's going to be really, really nice. So, um, yeah, it's going to be about it, really. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and interested in the videos. And leave a comment. What's your favourite part of the video? I would love to know. There are links if you're interested. One to my most recent upload if you would love to see what I'm currently doing. One to the playlist if you want to catch up or watch from the beginning. And finally, one to the channel to browse my other videos. Whatever you choose, please have a great day, and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.